today. List comprehensions versus generator expressions. We're going to take a look at what generator expressions are, uh, the benefits that you'll receive from using them, and the differences compared to list comprehensions, including uh, speed, performance, features, etc. So we're going to crack into all of that right now. So let's start off with a simple list comprehension. So I was thinking I for I in range 100. And that is our list comprehension. Now, how would you rewrite this as a generator expression? It's actually very easy. It basically just comes down to the brackets that you use to wrap around it. And now that we're using the uh, circular brackets, when we run this, we have a generator object. And we could even wrap type around this to confirm. Of course, we can see our generator object here. And then we can see that our class is of type generator. And all that happened just because we changed the syntax from the square brackets to the circle brackets. Now you may have noticed that when we ran the list comprehension, of course it's returning a list and we get all those values. And then we, when we run that same thing as a generator expression, um, we're getting this generator object. It's not actually uh, returning that list. The reason that's happening is because the generator, the benefit of the generator, is it's not storing that list in memory, and that actually makes it much faster. So we could do something like import sys, and um, actually we'll want to assign these to variables to help compare them. So we'll call a our list comprehension, and then we'll call b our generator expression. So uh, I'll show you A is our list comprehension and B is our generator expression. And now we can take sys and do get size of, and we can check the size of A and see that it's 920. And if we check B, our generator expression, you can see that it's 128. It's taking up much less space in memory. And one thing that's even more interesting, arguably, is let's say we make this range uh, 1,000. And then for B, um, if I can pull that up, we're going to make this range 1,000 as well. And now let's come back to check the size. And we can see that the size um, of our list comprehension has grown basically 10x, basically in line with you know the amount more values that we have now. And if we check the sys for B, you can see that it's still 128. The size and memory actually hasn't changed at all. And we could even do this again and add another zero. And we can check sys size of B, and it's still 128. So just basically trying to prove to you that with a generated expression, you're taking up much less space and memory, and it's much faster. Next, what we're going to do is from time it import time it. And what we're going to use this for is to time how long these functions take. So I just want to copy paste this. Um, I don't really need the B variable. I just want uh, the generator itself. And I just want the list comprehension itself. And what we're going to do um, is use time it and you can wrap that around any function to basically see um, how long it would take to run it. So the syntax looks like this. And when we run this for our list comprehension, it takes 3.16 seconds. And now if we did the same thing with a generator expression, it takes 0 0.5 seconds, so significantly shorter. And we could make that number bigger to show you how much more pronounced of a difference it is. So um, we've 10x the range for our generator expression, and it still takes basically the same amount of time. Um, but if I did that same thing with our list comprehension, um, I'm going to probably have to pause and restart the video because this is going to take like 30 seconds. All right, so our time it has finished executing and it took 34 seconds. So hopefully very clear cut how much faster it is to use a generator expression. And you can see that the time um, really took 10x more or less with a 10x the size uh, range. 
So the benefits of the smaller size and memory and the increased performance should be pretty clear cut at this point. And next, I just wanna talk a little bit about the differences, in other words, the downsides uh, of a list versus a generator expression. So here's our A and B, and what I wanna do is show you that we could do A dot append and throw another number in there, and let's just call this one, uh, I don't know, 666. <laughs> now when we run A again, I can see my 666 is here. And with B, um, if we tried to do that same thing with B, uh, that is not gonna work. You can see that the generator object does not have the attribute append. And another one you could do maybe is um, the slice notation, and of course that'll work just fine with the list. Um, but with a generator, it's not gonna be able to use that slice notation. So if you really need to um, have access to the methods and capabilities of a list, um, just make sure that you turn your uh, generator into a list before you do that. And you should be able to do it just fine. So I don't know if you wanna call it a downside or just something to be aware of. Um, of course, everything has pros and cons but just know that generators do not have all the capabilities that lists have. So we're coming to the end of the video. Uh, we've looked at the syntax of generator expressions. Uh, we looked at the types, the benefits, the speed, uh, the downsides or the pros and cons. So a little bit of everything of list comprehensions versus generators. But just keep in mind that generators are a quite a big topic and I just can't cover it all in one video. Um, so first, I want to mention that I want to mention the use case, right? So generator expressions are best used when a list is an intermediary, such as summing or creating a dictionary. Basically, um, if it's just an intermediary step to do the comprehension, to do the iteration, then a generator could help make that intermediary step much faster. But you have to know that there's trade-offs, and so in these three tabs, I want to show you that you know, there's unexpected results because a generator is lazy, whereas a list comprehension is eager. And you may have heard those terms, lazy loading, lazy um, evaluation, and that's exactly what's happening with generators. So just know that there can be unexpected things going on um, as you're iterating, as you're assigning variables and whatnot due to the lazy nature of a generator expression. So obviously there's pros and cons to everything, and this is just an introduction, and hopefully it was helpful to you. Thanks for watching.